You may not hear holiday music playing in the stores just yet, but you may have heard talk of earlier than usual holiday shopping because of the pandemic's lingering supply chain issues. So why is this happening? What's being done about it? And what does it mean for you? It's today's Don't Waste Your Money report. Even if stores aren't fully stocked for the holidays just yet, the buying has begun. When did you start holiday shopping? Last week. Really? Yeah. Are you shopping for a Christmas tree we, right yeah, now? Yeah, we are. We're, we're looking now. They told me they're shopping earlier than usual because they've heard about the supply chain problems. Clearly, if you get into a store and you see something you like, I'd suggest you buy it. Why? Because I think there, there will be shortages. Rick Vespa, co-owner of English Gardens, which sells high-end Christmas trees and holiday decor, says his stores usually start setting up seasonal displays in August. This year it's been delayed um, because of the delay in getting merchandise. Roughly how much of your hard goods inventory are you waiting for right now? I would say probably 50 or 60 percent is still en route. Normally it would be here. Vespa says he's already stocking plant containers for 2022 because he started ordering much earlier than normal once he saw the supply chain issues. The supply chain being the path from the factory to a container, onto a truck or rail, to a port, loaded onto a container ship, shipped to a port, unloaded onto a truck or train, transported to a distribution center, then finally the store. Vespa says there have been delays and shortages at every step. Walmart is trying to deal with supply constraints. CFO Brett Biggs confirmed on a company earnings call in August that they're adding extra lead time to orders and chartering vessels specifically for Walmart goods. Target announced earlier this month it has also chartered its own container ship. As co-managers of the ship, we can avoid delays from additional staffs and steer clear of particularly backed up ports. We first told you about anticipated toy shortages when I interviewed Metro Detroit store owners in July. We're finding a lot of the toys that are being shipped from overseas are the ones that are really affecting us the most. Julie Everett of Whistle Stop Hobby and Toys in St. Clair Shores said it could be a problem through the holidays, with some companies already making out-of-stock lists. As for ground and air shipping, I reached out to UPS about expected delays. UPS responded in an email saying, in part, UPS has been continuing to add capacity. We've opened new facilities, most recently in the UK, Spain, and the Czech Republic. We've also added six more 747-8 freighters, bringing our total to 28. But UPS's international president, Scott Price, said in a recent interview, I have jokingly tell people, order your Christmas presents now, because otherwise, on Christmas Day, there may just be a picture of something that's not coming until February or March. And you can expect not only a shortage on some items, but also rising prices because shipping costs have gone up so much. Rick Vespa told me last year English Gardens could order a 40 foot shipping container of goods from China for $7,000. Now he says the cost per container runs 13 to $23,000. And that makes sense when you look at the latest report from the Drury World Container Index. The average cost, the average cost to ship a 40 foot container increased 2.5%. 9% last week to a price of nearly $10,375 per container. That is 323% higher than a year ago and the 22nd of 22nd consecutive week of increases. So do plan ahead with a budget. Shop early so you don't waste your money. And when I was talking recently uh, to the co-owner of the Whistle Stop Hobby and Toy, she said already they're seeing prices maybe 10% more. Right. So less inventory, higher prices. Yes. Happy holidays. Right. Shop <laughs> I mean, before Halloween. Right. Gift cards. <laughs> gift cards. That's I'm making a list of gift that's cards. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. All right.